Hello, good morning. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, European markets for trading session Wednesday, 20th of June 2018. Please be sure to visit TradeSignal Signals market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. Download the Google, uh, Google Play and the Apple App Store. Uh, download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of uh, European market this morning, certainly recovering on the back of that uh, sell-off, a vicious sell-off yesterday, on the back of concerns regarding Merkel, okay, given the political uncertainty there, given her potential um, uh, situation uh, or so her views on the immigration bill. Uh, again, I think there's been a uh, tip for tap with regards to Italy and uh, Spain as well with regards to immigration. And it certainly seems to be uh, seems to have escalated with Mr. Trump's so-called uh, false tweeting, uh, ignorant, uh, ignorant tweeting regarding the uh, potential crime rate increasing in Germany. Well, that's actually incorrect. Uh, the, the crime rates are lowest in 30 years in Germany at present. So again, a um, focus on immigration. And again, Miss Merkel uh, within her, her own party, again, uh, certainly losing support Okay, going forward. So that certainly seems to be a key theme with regards to Europe at the moment, immigration, given the rise of populism and uh, so-called xenophobia. Okay, uh, So again, political uncertainty regarding Merkel, also uncertainty regarding Brexit as well and Theresa May. It's her certainly losing support as well from her own party and uh, situation going forward there. So any political uncertainty is, is considered to be risk off. On top of that, we have concerns regarding China and trade war with the US, given the fact that Mr. Trump certainly threatening 200 billion worth of Chinese goods. Uh, and obviously China retaliating in kind. So uh, that certainly sent the uh, Ch Chinese markets down minus 5% overnight uh, going into Tuesday, which in turn obviously caused the European market sell-off. Now, in terms of the uh, markets for a Wednesday session, okay, uh, certainly a recovery, a potential recovery in the back of a weaker euro. Uh, and again, we've had some dovish comments as well uh, from Mr. Nowotny, if I can recollect. Uh, certainly arguing for a weaker euro or a lower euro. So Mr. Villaroy, okay, uh, ECB member. So again, that certainly has helped as well. Uh, oil stabilizing on the back of uh, concerns that, uh, well, not concerns, back of concerns, Iranian concerns. Iranian Iran was certainly arguing against a potential supply increase. Uh, Saudi Arabia certainly seems to be losing support. And now the OPEC ministers certainly seem to have agreed that the uh, supply cut will remain for the rest of 2018. And what happens thereafter is debatable. And that certainly has helped the FTSE and helped European indices rally as well. OK, so certainly a, a short squeeze bounce. Now, let's see if that can continue. In terms of the fundamentals for the remainder of the day, let's have a look here. Also, be sure to visit CFDs.com. Certainly take advantage of that bonus there. In terms of the rest of the day, you've got Mr. Draghi speaking at half past two, so keep an eye on that. Again, that will be uh, euro-sensitive, uh, and again, obviously, what potentially uh, could help European equity, so bear that in mind, okay? Uh, in terms of the technical picture, let's go to the German DAX now. We've certainly bounced from that key support around the 12,600, okay? Uh, at the moment, we're oscillating. You've got an unfilled gap at 12,830, and then obviously, you've got a gap at 13,015. A lot of individuals are focusing on the, focusing on the potential H&S formation, given the double top that we've obviously experienced at 13,150, so bear that in mind. Terminate chart at the moment, again, we're just oscillating. We have the unfilled gap below. Bear in mind, you've got the uh, concerns regarding trade war, con concerns regarding Merkel's future as well. That certainly key will keep the, uh, the German DAX at bay, so bear that in mind. Okay. In terms of the French CAC, uh, again, we've bounced off that pivot low at 5,370. 60 minute chart at the moment uh, again bounced off key support uh, we have put a bearish engulfing candle today so bear that in mind daily chart as well certainly bounced off that 200 ma so that 200 ma certainly seems to be support for now you've got the unfilled gaps above so bear that in mind at 5450 and then obviously you've got unfilled gap at 5500 going into draghi so take that into consideration too okay in terms of uh, the FTSE 100 let's bring that all back up again weekly chart double top uh, daily chart, obviously you're putting a bottoming tail up for 7550, next level potentially 7450 on the 200 MA break after you're breaking out of the bullish channel. So bear that in mind, okay? We have put in a lower high again at 7770, so again that needs to be respected too. 60 minute chart, we've uh, retraced almost 61% on the back of that potential news regarding OPEC. Very, very impressive uh, thrust higher given the fact that uh, Saudi has failed to convince other members to actually uh, increase the uh, oil supply. Okay, the Iranians certainly objecting to that as well, so bear that in mind. 10 minute chart at the moment, uh, again, also the Iranians objecting it to it because Mr. Trump has argued for an increase in oil supply uh, in order to keep the oil prices down, obviously, with, with it hurting uh, potential uh, demand and growth, especially given the trade war concerns at present. Okay, so 10 minute chart certainly looking to potentially move lower. We've got the unfilled gap below at 7,600, so we've got a 100 point thrust just on the back of OPEC today, so that's really impressive. 
Very, very impressive, folks. And a lot of that certainly has been baked into the cake. So again, don't be surprised if you retrace back down to 200 MA, potentially even close the gap. Okay, so that certainly is a summation of European indices. Be sure to visit Trade Signals and certainly take advantage of the uh, the actual uh, uh, bonus there as well with CFDs.com. Be sure to download the latest Trade Signal app. Goodbye now.